What's up guys, Sim here, and in this video we finally got Betsy back. So when the car was at the shop, they did a bunch of work, and I'm really happy with all the work they did. You can probably tell just by looking at this shop right now, some of the stuff they did, and most of it is involved right over here. First thing I'm going to point out is the fuel line. I used to have that long metal fuel line I bought online right here. It was for this car, but how I mounted it wasn't very good, and also... When it came up in here, it kind of stopped right next to the manifold here. And you actually, real quick, I have both factory manifolds on there right now. They're off my dad's 72 340 Cuda. These are the original manifolds from his car. He has a new set on there now. I got them on my car just temporarily, but back to the fuel line. They did some good work with the fuel. I really like how it comes up and over here. Like I was explaining to you guys, I bought that heat shield for the fuel line. Well, it turns out I don't need to need don't need to use it which I'm happy about that because this is much safer you can see it comes right up here along the fender or up the firewall along the fender and back down into the fuel pump right there I'm really happy with the line as well I was looking at it all under the car it's too dark and hard for it to go up on camera I already tried but I'm really happy with how it all turned out the fuel line is perfect and back in the trunk I, I would show you guys right now but the car back here it's kind of hard to get back into the trunk right there with the stuff on top there's no room back there but whatever i'm really happy with how they had the fuel line it's exactly how i wanted it i was worried to do it because i didn't want to buy a bunch of an line and a braided line and an fittings and i know what to do buy too much or too little thankfully they figured it all out for me which i was really happy about that i'm really happy with how it all turned out second thing you probably noticed is the msd box is gone we have just a normal ignition box and just a normal distributor. They told me the MSD box was broken and I had a feeling it was myself when I was working on the car because watching videos of other guys, it just didn't seem to be working how it was supposed to work. And you might be wondering, well, why did I just keep the MSD distributor? Well, in order to run the MSD distributor, you need the MSD box. And this was $100 in the MSD box. Buying a replacement of that was like $230 or something like that. So I didn't want to do that. It probably I maybe could have tried to return it. I probably still could, but I don't think I can because, I mean, I bought it over a year and a half ago, and it's just like whatever now at this point. Got this stuff in, some Mopar Performance Parts, MSD, not MSD, just normal ignition box and new distributor. They put it in, Put was able to keep the coil, put new spark plug wires on. Uh, then over here, brand new master cylinder. The one I had with the Slant 6 car just wasn't enough to stop the car and they also said turns out it was blown out i was complaining about my brakes i kept bleeding them kept changing wheel cylinders and still i'd get them to work for a little bit then let the car sit for a week go in there push on the pedal and absolutely nothing but put in a new master cylinder turns out that was the problem it was broken and now the brakes are all good to go it actually worked perfectly as we rolled the car up and down the driveway the past couple times now the main thing most of you are probably wondering is what was holding this car back from running now, one of the things was, which I remember as soon as they told me this, a couple of you guys told me, was that block ground right there. That was one of the problems. But also they said there was just a multitude of problems within the wiring system. It wasn't one specific thing. Just all kinds of random wires butchered together in, in random spots. Not where they're supposed to be. And for some of you longtime viewers, you know that wasn't me that did that. When I got the car, I mean, heck... The starter relay was up here on the firewall. The wiring from the previous owner was all butchered and messed up. I did my best to fix it, but with the little knowledge I have, I wasn't able to do that good of a job. Brought it to the shop, they got it all done and figured out. Now you're probably wondering, why aren't we seeing this thing running? Oh, one last thing. Oil dipstick, got it. This is the one off the van, which would have been like this tall. They put it in fixed it, got it like a custom fit on it, make it fit perfectly for my car. And then real quick before I keep talking, I'll just show you guys in here. Kind of dark and hard to see, but you can see, got the new steering wheel in, got the sun tack right there. We got the other gauges down there, the Hurst shifter. Everything is looking good in here. Last thing we need for the interior is seats, and it'll be exactly how I want it. And that's the Betsy name right there from the previous owner but you're probably wondering why aren't we seeing this thing running right now and the reason why is because of the starter now when the car was at the shop they warned me about this they said 
when we tried to start the car, the starter was bad. It was broken. It was not working properly. It just kept cranking and cranking and cranking and cranking. It took them a couple tries, and they eventually did get it to fire up with this starter and shut it off right away. Now, I tried myself to start it, and which I'll show you guys the clips in a little bit, but I was close to starting it, but still, you could just tell something was wrong with the starter. You guys will see the clips and be able to try and diagnose the problem yourself, but I'm going off what the shop said. I'm returning the starter that's on there right now. I printed off the label from Summit and stuff today, and I'm going to hopefully return it today or tomorrow. And I ordered a new starter off Rock Auto, which should be getting here today. So hopefully next week, we'll attempt to fire this thing up yet again. But in the meantime, I'll show you guys the current attempts for starting up Betsy for the first time. So on both sides now, we have the same factory manifolds, and yes... Those will restrict the horsepower a lot. I just want to get the car on the road now and drive it around. Also, oh, we got the new steering wheel in there. Then back over here, you can see the fuel cell. And we just installed the cap for the other hole on the cell. Now the only thing left is to fill it up with gas and cross my fingers and try and start the car. and then do it again. So as you guys saw, we came kind of close to starting it, but still, it looks like to me, and from what the shop said, the starter is the problem. That's all for this week's video. Make sure you guys tune in next Wednesday for hopefully a video of me starting up this car. We know we're getting fuel, we know we got spark, we know we got oil pressure. All we need is to fire this thing up, and break in the cam, and we will be good to go. Leave your comments down below about what you, what you think the problem is. Do you agree with it being the starter? Do you think it is someone, something else wrong with the car? Hopefully next week we will have it figured out. So make sure you guys tune in next Wednesday for another video of my car. And make sure you guys tune in this Friday for Street Race Talk, episode 173, where, as always, we'll be talking about all the news that happens this week in street racing. Make sure you guys click that little bell, turn the notifications on so you don't miss a single video that I upload. I upload all my videos at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And make sure you guys leave your comments down below. I apologize there was no video last week of Betsy. I was sick, and I was like... You know what, I'm not, I didn't really do anything, I didn't get a chance to come out here and try and start the car. This week I did, and I'm happy I did. Made some, I guess we made some progress, we know stuff was working, we heard the car try and fire up for the first time, and we think the starter is the problem. But still, I want you guys to leave your comments down below, let me know what you think the problem is. Do you agree that it is the starter, or do you think it's something else, could it be the timing or something like that, I don't know. Leave your comments down below, read absolutely all the comments, reply to just about all of them, and make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, at SimABCXYZ. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and this is SimABCXYZ, signing out.